Okay, okay, okay. So you must be wondering what's this all about. Well, you know how people buy bottled water at the supermarket? Well, I actually uh, buy in bulk my purified water or I get it from my friends. Well, but that's another story for another day because I take great care when using well water that has not been tested. Although I do test it using this tester here. But this is what you do. You use these testers for water but it's not like it's going to the lab um i think it's really testing against uh chemicals and i'm gonna have to do more research on that because i've been relying on it until i use my friend's uh well water and eventually it turned green in the bottle and it was at 57 which is better than good technically like 167 is good uh 57 is pretty good but the water bottle that the the water that I buy is test like at one, okay. So I reuse my bottles, okay. And here I am going to do a couple of things. Let's start with putting homemade chlorine for the body, not chlorine from a bleach bottle, okay. So I have just poured some of this uh, chlorine that I made at home myself. You could search for it in another video or just request it in the comment section. And I am going to fill these syringes with it and then pour some in each bottle. Okay, as you can see, this is just for measure. That There's no in, a needle here. Nothing's being poked at all. I'm filling it up to 3 millimeter. I'm just going to put a little bit on each. I do have the amount, the quantity, how much to put by measure. Uh, but I'm not going to bother. Uh, this is water for me. And um, I'm just purifying my water even more, even though I bought it purified already. Uh, because I started doing this with the well water, uh, something was in it. I think it had, uh, some, hmm, what's in that water? I see specs. I think it's the paper on the other side. Okay. So let me start here, finish here and then get another refill. Okay. So let me continue. So I finished off with this bottle here. So I will continue over here. And this is water that, uh, this is cl chlorine that I made. I copied a scientist how he did it. It was supposed to be used for the big bug, if you know what I'm talking about, about 2009, 2020, right? And uh, I don't want to, I'm not a doctor or nurse, and I don't want to get in trouble for saying something that I'm not licensed to say because that's the way it goes, right? Nobody's supposed to know these things. All right, so this this would purify the water and uh, pretty much it's supposed to kill anything you have in your body. Uh, but I mean, I don't believe anything is foolproof just because even a scientist would say it, but it doesn't hurt to purify it. I just started doing this on my already purified water that I buy, that I test uh, because my tester is not 100% reliant. So I never, ever felt like I got bugs from that water. However, when I got the well water, I felt I needed to do a para cleanse, if you know what I mean. Um, I didn't feel anything major, but I just, uh, the water turning green. And I started getting sort of like uh, feeling something was walking on my skin. And when I did the para cleanse, I was fine. So hold on. I am now going to pour this back in and store it because it starts turning white, which means the chlorine is not effective anymore and we don't want to do that uh that's why even the clorox that you buy at the store uh you really should um actually uh not store too much because it does go bad okay all right so now we're going to do this okay and it's connected to this old machine i know it looks really old but it's this is an oscillator and i used to oscillate all of my water back in the day so i'm going to start oscillating because, and you should oscillate when you're ready to drink it, not when you're not ready to drink it. Because, you know, moving water is fresh water. Still water is not fresh water, right? So I decided to start uh, oscillating again. As you can see, I have all my caps here for all my bottles. And what I do is um, I set them in a table uh, that has a compartment that is just right for all my water bottles whenever I'm watching TV. And also by my desktop computer, I put a couple of them behind me uh, on the uh, fireplace thing and uh, I always have water at my reach if I leave the house 98% of the time I remember to bring water um, I also have a big bottle in the car which I should bring in and oscillate it but 
Again, just so you know, ozolate before using, not when let it sit again, right? Defeats the purpose. So I just want to conclude with uh, with uh, my video. I don't think we need to see more. Uh, so I'm going to just ozolate two of them because I think I'll probably drink at least two bottles today. And the rest I'm probably going to see. Maybe I'll keep them on top of the counter, see what I could invent where it's not in the way. Uh, or maybe I'll take this ozolating machine by where I compartmentalize my bottles. Um, I reuse them. Glass is the best way to store water uh, rather than uh, using those cheap cancer causing uh, bottles that sit in the sun and uh, you know it, it leaks into your water and uh, contains carcinogenics. So I always carry my water with me. Sometimes I also carry a gallon in the car just in case I forget to bring my bottles and that has saved me in the past. There have been a, a, num a few number of times that I had no water in the car and believe me I will make that U-turn in a hurry. I very seldom go into the store to buy water. Uh, it's just not my thing. Just like I don't use uh, dish detergent and I haven't used it for years probably hmm, probably about 12 to 15 years. Uh, if you ask why I want what I use uh, I'd be glad to tell you but in another video because I like to give a lot of tips but I also want you to watch my other videos and so please don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to hit the notification bell if you have not subscribed please do so then and then click again the uh, subscribe and you'll get the notification and that's how they do it it used to not be like that uh, and um, I like your comments about this I know it doesn't look appetizing all these reused bottles but Guess what? I'm going to give you a hint. Instead of washing these bottles in, in uh, dish detergent, um, I dip them into uh, lemon water. And then I rin rinse them and make sure there's no lemon flavor in it. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to give you anything else because I want you to keep watching my channels. And each uh, video that I have will give you some extra tips even outside of the purpose and the intent of the film video so thank you so much i i really appreciate you um again this is not a needle uh, i just use it because it has uh as you can see uh, millimeters and all that stuff i wasn't really careful about measuring the amount of millimeters i'm just gonna do my other one again uh because it, this is for me i do not uh, advise anybody to do anything at home so please don't do what i do at home uh, even if I say I make my own chlorinated water and I got the recipe from a chemist, do not do that at home. Anything you do is at your own risk. And if you're a child, uh, I have to mark this as not for children. Although you're not, I'm not this was not an illustration on how to make uh, Clorox, uh, but I'm not wanting to encourage anybody or give anybody something to say about me and try and get me in trouble. Thank you so much and have yourself a great day. Bye now.